Hey guys, I just wanted to quickly show you what I did. We're having an issue where the comma three is when it gets hot, like it is right now, I'm all sweaty. Uh, it comes on like randomly for a second uh, and the ignition line is showing true. The ignition line detection on the harness is not plugged into anything. So uh, I suggested we should ground it. Um, the comma guys didn't think that that would have an impact, but I'm thinking since GM is, is there's only a, like three car uh, brands that, that, um, don't have an ignition line. And in the case where it does have an ignition line, that line is generally ground when the car is off and they're not having this issue. GM is having the, we're, we're seeing the issue with the camera harness folks because this is an entirely different beast than the OBD2 harness. Um, and I don't know that that ignition line is uh, floating with the OBD2 harness. I just don't know. Maybe it is, maybe it isn't. But I have attached the ignition uh, line to ground. And now I'm getting out of here because I'm about to die uh, in my own, I'm about to drown in my own sweat. So, um... Uh, anyway, the other thing I wanted to mention is I did a FLIR, a FLIR test, and this guy was only like 37 degrees or something. I'll get the pictures out. Uh, but the, the that thing was up in like 47 degrees C, something. It was less than 50, but... So it was within the spec of what a lot of these ICs permit. The At least the ICs, the, the parts inside the harness, are will tolerate up to 150 degrees C. Uh, that's crazy hot, and it's not that hot. Um, my car is not in direct sunlight anymore, so it may not happen. I might have to back it up. All right. Anyway, um, I just wanted to uh, show what I did, uh, just in case you, I was rambling. You can see the pink wire there. That's the ignition detect, and I have it clipped onto the black wire, which is ground. All right. Uh, thanks for watching.